Hey there everyone, it's Ratna Hengebrook, and we're coming to you live with Kingdom Hearts 3. Welcome to part 26, my Kingdom Hearts 3, hard mode difficulty playthrough. In today's episode, we've gone to the toy store. As you can see, there's plenty of toys about, and there's going to be a bit of mayhem ensuing. Especially when the toys get heartless lives of their own. And there he is, Xehanort in his youngest version. He's the first of the Xehanorts. I don't know how many Xehanorts there are, this is just... It's getting out of hand, really. Storyline. As you can see, the Heartless have uh, commandeered some robots. They're coming in for the attack. These are going to be some new enemies. Look pretty cool. I'm being honest, I didn't die at this point, but a bit further on I did die. So that'll be going into the compilation of absolute fails in this game. Yeah, continue with a bit of storyline. Xehanort's looking to connect the world so he can unleash his ultimate darkness or his ultimate light. Who knows which. Sora is not happy. He's being tested. He's not living up to expectations either. What a catch. What an absolute dream of a catch there. Bye Buzz. Mrs. Nesbitt himself diving in for the kill. Oh my god, the firing lasers at us. <laughs> it's gonna be a tricky one. Have to use some ranged, I think. Some ranged attacks. So, <laughs> I love the way they look as toys. It's just so weird. They look like they're in like pixelated form or something. Like 8 bit man or something. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, we've commandeered a vehicle of our own. So, here we go. Attacking. At first, I wasn't really very good with manoeuvring or anything like that. I just went straight in for the attack, which is a bad idea. You want to manoeuvre left to right, avoiding their attacks as best you can. And then you can speed boost in with X, I think it is. Danger dash, it's called. And then give him a punch with either A or L trigger. So yeah, I just went in for the punch. I didn't know about the blaster at this point. I was just punching them. Hoping for the best. But yeah, they, it's weird how they combine like these enemies and then smaller enemies at the same time. The smaller ones just get absolutely decimated if you touch them. It's quite a useful uh, power trick getting in this machine. Yeah, you want to utilize the danger dash there. There we go. Combo. Danger dash punch. They've got quite a lot of health at this point in the game. I think they'll get easier as we level up. but Bit of a struggle to start with. Oof. He's got some nasty moves there. If you see on the, uh, the bottom left there, <coughs> if you press Y, uh, you can use the exploders, which is like a special move. You can use that, it just charges up basically over and over again, which I didn't know at this point. I was just thrown into the deep end. But you want to unleash the exploders as much as you can. That'll do the most damage. There he is, Ruin Punch. Giving him what for? Missed the second. The distance shooting. Yeah, when the uh, health gauge goes down on the robots, they just sort of stop functioning, and then you popped out of it automatically. So, there's no immediate danger, but if you're surrounded by four of these guys, then uh, it's not what you want, really, and that's what's just happened. <laughs> I'm going to crawl over to the next one and commandeer him instead. So when you defeat them, the, uh, the heartless inside dies. But the toy itself is fine, so you can uh, 
You can commandeer their vehicles quite easily. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit dodgy. Uh, got a bit of a sore throat. Bit of a cough going on. They're getting more experience points as well for defeating these, which is good. Oh, oh he's just jumped straight in from the other one. Magical. There you go, he's using the blasters there. You see how much damage that did? Absolutely annihilated him. But if you can kill the little ones as quick as possible, then you won't have to deal with as many robots. Oh, and uh, Donald has actually done the job there. Or is it Goofy? Either one. Team effort, some would say. I don't know why they don't just get in, you know, robots as well. And make the fights easier would be, you know, the sensible thing to do, but apparently not. So the final artist there just dissipates and then his heart flies off to Kingdom Hearts. The more, the more darkness you kill, the bigger Kingdom Hearts grows. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Woody and Buzz basically looking for the friends in the uh, toy store. The friends have come over. I think initially they were hoping to see Andy and then they would all go to the toy store. Uh, but that wasn't the case. So they came on their own with Sora and uh, Donald and Goofy. Hopefully the bond between them uh, grows stronger. As you can see, Buzz is having none of it. Doesn't appreciate it. What is his only friend? <laughs> but yeah, alternate worlds again. Are they in a complete alternate universe now? Or are they in the same universe but one world's altered? It's all just a mind boggling experience. It's good to see some new enemies though, they, uh, they're doing more damage, making the game a little bit harder, which is good, like a bit of a challenge, but still, th this game compared to, compared to the old ones is just ridiculously easy, gotta say it, I'm sure many people have said it before me. But yeah, if we, if we did a direct comparison of the first one, Say the fight with uh, Riku when he's in full darkness mode. When you have to li you have to listen to a cutscene that's like ten minutes long, and then if you lose, you get absolutely screwed. <laughs> it's just a nightmare. Yeah, on this one, it's it's not the same. Same characters, different different uh, skill level, basically. Yeah, a bit of a spoiler in the uh, in the first two games, you have a special enemy of Sephiroth, and if he's in this game, then he's gonna be the easiest version ever because literally when I fought him the first time in the first uh, in the first game, he just he, he obliterated me like one shot, it was over. Like he just disappeared, reappeared, slashed me a few times, and that was it. Couldn't even move, couldn't dodge, couldn't block. It was a shocker. Yeah, I think they're, they're aiming the <laughs> the game more marketing towards the children rather than the actual gamers. I think it's mainly for story anyway. It's, it's a nice story to be fair, in the world. If you can, <laughs> if you understand what's going on, which I don't, but it's pretty good. It's definitely worth a play. I'd recommend playing the first uh, game if you're going to buy any of them because that was just a, an original idea and it was, it was pretty great. As with most trilogies, it uh, dissipates, unfortunately, but we'll persevere. New enemies, new challenges. Thank you for watching. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching and there's going to be plenty more content coming out real soon.
And if you'd like to subscribe, like, dislike, comment, feel free to do so. And I'll bring you the next installment as soon as possible.